Good evening, my name is Izzy. I am one of the heads of school here at Hearts and Essex and I'm currently studying Government and Politics, English Literature, GPR and Business Studies. I would like to extend a warm welcome to you all and start by briefly introducing you to life as a sixth form student. I have been part of the Hearts and Essex community now for almost seven years and at this point two years ago I was asking myself the same questions that you're probably asking yourself. For those of you already at this school, that question might be, is remaining at the school that I've been at for five years enough of a change? And for those of you new to our school, is Hearts and Essex the right place for me? From my experience, I can assure you that the opportunity, quality of teaching, social aspects and support you will receive here at Hearts and Essex is second to none. With a newfound sense of independence, sixth form life is certainly different to that of lower school. The relationships you develop with your teachers are ones of outstanding mutual respect and the maturity they treat you with is something that cannot be matched elsewhere. The support you receive as a student, paired with the extra independence you're given, makes for a great two years. Time at this sixth form opens an array of doors that will allow you to progress to whatever future holds your interest. So I hope that this evening is as informative and interesting for you all and that by the end you will have decided that Hearts and Essex is the right place for you. Hello prospective students, my name is Amy Allen and I'm the Assistant Head of Wellbeing here at Hearts and Essex. Today I'm here to talk about the pastoral care and wellbeing related offerings here at Hearts and Essex. In terms of pastoral care, the school offers a counselling system as well as several people available for you to contact if you feel in need, such as year leaders, any member of the six or leadership team and mentors. The school is a proud holder of the Gold Carnegie Medal for Mental Health. With regards to wider wellbeing, the school is home to several diversity groups, which are safe spaces for different types of students, as well as spaces in which they can campaign for change and improvement to our school environment. Such groups include Kaleidoscope, which is the school's cross-year LGBTQ plus group that meets to help organise Pride Month and also acts as a discussion forum for topics within their sphere. There is also the Black History Month committee. For the last few years, an ad hoc committee has been formed of students who contribute to the organisation of Black History Month. From this year onward, we hope to form a permanent group to tackle year-long issues surrounding race relations and to provide a space for ethnic minority pupils and others to hold discussions they may have felt previously uncomfortable to have. Another of these groups is Planet A, which is the school's cross-year environmental group, with their aim to find solutions as to how to the school can contribute positively to the fight against climate change. While many of these groups have not been able to meet yet due to the current circumstances, we hope to have them up and running as soon as possible. Certainly, it is the school's aim to have them ready for your enjoyment in 2021. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the event. Hi everyone, my name is Grace Mayo and I'm the head of school and head of wellbeing. Being a external student myself has allowed me to encounter an, a new adventure of Arts and and set myself personal goals I'm aiming to achieve. When joining the school, I felt extremely welcomed by all the lovely staff and the lovely students who made my transition natural and stress-free. I'm currently studying psychology, sociology and English literature with the hopes of pursuing a career in law apprenticeship next year. The ambition and my knowledge of the open apprenticeship scheme has all been made possible with the help of the lovely teachers at Hearts and Essex who are extremely supportive and encourage you to always do your best. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoy your evening. Hello, I'm Mark and I'm one of the heads of school at Hearts and Essex. I currently study maths, biology, chemistry and GPR. One of the great things that appeal to me as an external student is the endless amount of support that you can receive with regards to university applications. A group I really enjoy and that I joined during year 12 is called ShapeSoc. This is a society for those aspiring to become dentists, doctors, vets or any other role in the medical or scientific field. You will be able to not only gain personal advice on how to improve your personal statement but also endless interview practice, as well as meeting with previous students and other professionals in this field. Additionally, the school provides many opportunities to volunteer at primary schools and also help with gaining work experience placements.
Arts in Essex has helped me personally to get in contact with a care home so that I could go and volunteer there during my study periods. Another thing that is really helpful is that anyone can get in contact with any teacher easily via email and teachers are always more than happy to help. So as you can see, Hearts and Essex is really the place to come to if you want to succeed. Hi, I'm Lauren Parker and I'm the Deputy Head responsible for development here at Hearts and Essex. I currently take Chemistry, Biology, Drama and Core Maths. I don't know where these subjects will take me, but I have the option of Law, Musical Theatre and Sciences. I've been attending the school since Year 7 and here is where I found my love for performing arts. One of the most amazing things about drama at Hearts and Essex is the opportunities that are provided. Last year I was given the chance to participate in the biannual musical Greece, which is a fantastic experience for anyone looking to get involved in the arts, whether you want to be on stage, backstage or in the lighting box. Last academic year, our fabulous drama teachers, Mrs Hayward and Miss Porter, organised a day for the National Youth Theatre to come to our school and audition the keen drama students for the programme. And lucky for us, a huge group of students were offered a membership. We have a great music block called Furlins, which is usually available for any students to practice in, and our head of music, Mr Clayton, often hosts music events and showcases. There are, these are just a few opportunities for students to get involved with performing arts, and we hope that you take them. Hi, my name is Eddie and my role is the Assistant Head of Development here at Hearts and Essex. Hearts and Essex did a fantastic job helping me settle into the school last year. All the staff and students are extremely welcoming and the transition felt incredibly smooth. Within the first couple of weeks I already feel as if I'd been here a long time. A vital strength of Hearts and Essex is the support they provide for university and apprenticeship applications for those who are considering early entry. This includes Oxbridge and applying for topics such as medicine, veterinary or dentistry. This process naturally requires a lot of organisation and hard work, but the staff do an excellent job at guiding you through the entire process. Hearts and Essex provides numerous resources that will help you find the course in university that is right for you. You will be presented with many opportunities and, uh, and to attend talks, taste the lectures, open days, arrange work experience, experience masterclasses, summer schools and much more to help you consolidate your choices. The online platform Unifrog is another tool the school will provide you which gives in-depth information regarding your application allowing you to create many shortlists to help you come to your final decision. The fortnightly bulletin is another source that details the whole range of events available to us. The sick form staff will also support you when writing your personal statement. They provide helpful, concise feedback to ensure that your application is as strong as it can be. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ned. I'm a Deputy Head of School with the role of Head of Communications. Joining an all-girls school as an external boy may seem a daunting prospect. However, joining Hearts and Essex proves this assumption wrong, as it was a seamless and natural transition for me. In September of last year, I started a new sick form, leaving my former school to continue my studies elsewhere. I was enthusiastic and hopeful for the next step in my education. Unfortunately, the initial choice I made, attending a sixth form college in Cambridge, was not the right one for me. As a result, I found myself joining my second sixth form, Hearts and Essex, in January of 2020. Luckily, I was about to learn just how quickly someone could be welcomed into a vibrant and organic sixth form community. In fact, I believe it speaks volumes but merely two months after arriving at Hearts in Essex, I felt confident enough, due to the inclusive communal spirit of the sixth form, to apply for a senior leadership position. In my view, the aspect that stands out when comparing Hearts in Essex to other sixth forms is the inclusivity and openness of the community that ensures that your transition is fluid. Hi, I'm Roz and I've been at Hearts in Essex since year seven. I'm now assistant head with the responsibility for communications and I'm currently studying Biology, Psychology and Religious Studies. Here, every Wednesday afternoon, we have enrichment where you can participate in various activities such as a range of sports at the new sports centre where you can use the state-of-the-art equipment to have fun with your friends and exercise. We believe that keeping a balance between both the academic and extracurricular sides of school is vital to a good well-being. If you're particularly interested in law, the bar mock trial is a great insight to the preparations and delivery of a court case. Other examples of enrichment opportunities 
include debating, Gold DV, the network, book club and peer mentoring, to name but a few, where you can get involved in something you're passionate about. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy your evening.